welcome back to uh, Backyard Woodworking. I thought I'd do a little video on my camera setup I have here. Just to show you, I have a tripod. I can move this closer. I have a tripod out of uh, an old uh, laser level that I bought. And I couldn't figure out how to get, you know, the, the tripods that they sell uh, at the store there near me don't have the the nut and a bolt rather in the top of the tripod just doesn't fit my little camera. I got a little Samsung, uh, six uh, megapixels, and it does all right, I guess. It just uh, the only lacking is the is the audio part. Well, I can't. With that tripod, the only way I can tilt the camera is to shorten one of the legs on the tripod. And if you try doing that, I mean, the legs go up and down quite a bit, but if you try doing that, then it's it's just not that accurate, and, and it tends to want to fall over, and I can't get the heights I want. So, here goes a project. A piece of pine cut off of something, I don't know, scrap, something I made. Put a hanger bolt it's a quarter 20 bolt. That's the threads for my camera. But I need something to tilt. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut this off. And what I'm going to do is basically a little box joint in the middle. Drill a hole, put a bolt and a wing nut in there. And then I should be able to, to flip this up and down. And there it goes, I have a tilt. Now I'm going to take the camera off and show you what my tripod looks like. All right, now you can see the tripod and how it works. Right here is a clamping mechanism like that. And you tighten this and it clamps your piece of wood. Well, being the tripod is small, I can put any size board up in there and lengthen the tripod. This tripod gets about Oh, I guess maybe four feet high off the ground total when you let all the legs out. But you see my dilemma there. Now, underneath the camera, what I did, you can see this. This is just a short piece of pine, and in the bottom here I cut a little dado, and uh, this is a closet bolt that you use for your common toilet to bolt it to the floor flange. Quarter 20 threads again. But it worked. That's what I did all my videos so far on. With this sitting in there like that. Camera mounted on the top. And uh, I just shortened the legs to get whatever I had to get. Well, I'm just going to build a little knuckle joint up there. And we'll see how that works. Now that we got this cut off. I marked out... With this marking gauge, which I could set for anything I want, even angles, 45s, whatever, but I came in approximately one third each side. One third, one third, one third. It's not exact, it doesn't matter, because as long as these two match up, that's what counts. And if you see, by putting this together, it's a dead match. Now, this is going to be waste. That I'm keeping. So what I'm going to do is just set the depth of my saw blade to come up to approximately here. As long as both sides are equal, it doesn't much matter. And what I'm going to do is going to take this out by just staying to the inside of my line there and then coming over here and doing the inside there and I can hold this up here and keep my hands away from the blade or I can clamp it. But I can take this, nibble this stuff out here. And same here. Got the outside of the line over here and the outside of the line over here. And any little bit I can adjust with sandpaper. Alright, well, 
let's give her a shot. This is just scrap wood, and I'm just making this to see what happened. Now I got my waistline lined up here, and we're going to cut this out. And I got my, uh, my goodies here. Now I'm just going to take chisel and clean this up a little bit. take. Now you put this together. Now I got, what I'm going to have to do is come down in an angle on whichever side I want it to bend. It's only going to have to bend one way or I could bend it both ways. But I have to get rid of some of this waist down here so I have room to swing. So in other words, I got to cut some of that off like that. 
Now I can either, I can pare this down with a chisel. I'll just take this. You see? And then try it. Take a little out of the edges. And that'll work. Okay, I found the center of my piece. Uh, drill bit in there to fit the bolt I got. I got a quarter twenty bolt, and I made it the next size up. I want the bolt to fit tight. I want too much slop in it. If it's a little too tight, I'll bore it again. It's not a problem. But uh, we can drill the hole now. <laughs> come all the way through because my bit's not as long as I need. But I don't see that as a problem. do is find the bolt I had. Okay, my piece here. Like so. Clamped it in, turned the saw on, and ran it right through like this, which gave me a piece that looks like this. Now all I have is a little edge here, which I clean up very simply. Even use this, it doesn't matter. Tear that like this, and like that. Maybe a little bit more here. 
now I got a nice piece. Now I'll line up my axes. I marked it so I wouldn't reverse it. Put a bolt through, which I'm going to get a different bolt. And a wing nut on there and a washer and a wing nut. Now this is not what I'm going to use, but it would work. Now, I can, I, I can just put my camera on here and tilt it down any angle I want now. That's just a quick project. Something that I needed, so I made it. And the end here, I just got a quarter 20 hanger bolt with a nut that holds that tight. Camera screws right on a quarter 20. Now, if any of you guys out there want to take videos and you got any kind of tripod, you could build a tripod. Just clamp something on a workbench and to clamp a board upright, screw this into your camera, you've got a tripod. That's all there is to it. Well, thanks for watching. I'll run this off and uh, throw it in. The next thing I'm going to be working on is a caddy for, uh, it's like a, a little tote thing. I'm going to drill a bunch of holes in it, put some tubes in it, and we're going to put separate all the scroll saw blades. I'll see you next week. Thank you.